to make fun of me. Just got off the motorcycle and my hair looks like doo-doo. But I wanna talk about the Yamaha Zuma. Um, so they came in a few different types. There's a two-stroke and there's a four-stroke Zuma. So this is a Zuma 125. This is the four-stroke model. They made two different body styles of this bike. Fuel injected, four-stroke, front disc. You've got under-seat storage. Really, really good, reliable bikes, but they are heavy. Um, and they do take quite a bit to go fast. But that being said, killer bikes, really reliable. That's an original one there. That's my one with the twin that everybody's probably seen. So those are the two, um, the two 125 four-strokes. So same bikes, just those have two different motors in them. Um, over here, it's really hard to see because it's all torn apart. This is a Zuma 50F. This is the four-stroke 49cc Zuma. Um, these, they do make some parts for them, but if you're looking to build a bike that is fast and lots of parts, that is not the bike you want to get. That's the same motor as like a Yamaha C3. Um, it's a fuel-injected 49cc. Great motor, but you're going to spend a ton of money to make it go fast. So the Zuma came, two different four-stroke types, 50F, 49cc, 50F, four-stroke, fuel-injected, front disc, rear drum, really, really good bikes, really reliable. There are some parts for them, but if you're trying to make it do 60, 65 miles an hour, you're gonna be in a world of hurt because you can spend a ton of money and it's probably not gonna do it. So you can get there, but it does cost a lot of money. Um, one thing I like about these guys, um, the, the Zoom 125, is <clears throat> they have a good amount of seat storage. They make some good cool parts for them. This one doesn't have it. We sell them. They make a cubby here. A bunch of carbon fiber stuff. Actually, perfect example. Like this. Um, you've got some carbon fiber stuff here. You can have a different tail, different tail lights and whatnot, different bars. So there's there's lots of cool parts for them. This has a JDM headlight swap kit, just a single headlight. Well, it typically has two, but I've got a carbon mask up here. So you can get different forks for them as well, wheels and whatnot. So there's quite a bit. But from what I from what I'm saying right now. Those parts are starting to go away. Coso's not making the taillights for those anymore because it's an older bike. Um, nobody's really bringing the legs in because they're really expensive. So that bike, in my opinion, the parts are starting to fade away on that one. Um, good bikes, and they're they're pretty popular, but in general, um, just companies aren't making a whole lot of stuff for them. So there are some things, there's a good amount of stuff you can do, but it just seems like that bike is kind of just fading out a little bit. It shouldn't, they're great bikes. I don't know why, but they are. So. Um, the other Zumas, God, everything's buried in here. So the, this is my favorite. You guys know what these are. That's a 49cc two stroke vertical Minarelli. So that's my favorite. Everybody probably knows that those were made from 89 to 01. Um, and so that has a two stroke vertical motor carbureted. Some of the older ones came with drum. This one came with discs. So they had a couple different styles, it came with different fairings and, and, or different colors. I'm sorry. Um, this one has naked bars and a bunch of stuff. I've got another video. I've got tons of videos on that bike, but these are great. Um, they're great. They're lightweight. They're, they're not too expensive to get. They're crazy reliable. I've seen a 250 pound guys jump three, four feet in the air and come down and they sound like they're just about ready to explode all kinds of cracking sounds and popping noises and they run great. So, um, those are good bikes. You have no underseat storage with those. And again, that's a vertical Minarelli motor. That's the only vertical Minarelli that you want or that comes in these bikes. They made a vertical in a uh, Raz got one that's older than that. You don't want those motors. People think they're the same. They're totally different motors, 100% different. They can use the same cylinder. Uh, the bolt pattern's the same. The stroke is the same, but the exhaust is different. The intake's different. The crank, variator, all that stuff is different. So. There are some things that will fit on the older, the older motor. It's kind of, it's very similar as far as layout as that bike, but the parts used are completely different. So, so we've gone over that. That's the pre bug. You have no. It's called a pre bug because the headlights don't stick out like the the Zuma headlights stick out. So, um, hands down, my favorite bike. I've already said that a million times. Everybody knows it. As far as Zumas go, those are my favorite Zumas. I'm gonna work my way over here. We get really busy, so I don't have a ton of time to make these videos. That's why I'm kind of going quicker. So this is a Bug Eye Zuma. This is 2002 to 2011. They call it a Bug Eye because these stick off the front. So when you're looking at Zumas, that's how you can tell this is called a Bug Eye. They stick off, stick out. The pre-bug is, is recessed. This is also a Minarelli two-stroke carbureted motor. 
Um, this bike is probably one of the most modified and modifiable bikes uh, that came here. You have under seat storage on these guys. So you have, and this one was wrecked. So bear with me, this is a total bike. So under seat storage, it's still rear drum, which is pretty common. Front disc, you've got a little cubby here as well. Um, the major downfall I personally like about this bike, and again, my opinion doesn't really matter because it's up to you what fits your, your needs. Um, the bike is very heavy. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say very heavy compared to something like, you know, a T-Max or a Vespa, but it is heavier than the pre-bug, it's bigger than the pre-bug, it's bulky, and the one thing I can't stand is the slant of this seat. It's like somebody's got a winch tied to my underwear and they're pulling it from behind 24 seven. So um, I need some room to breathe, and this bike does not give me that room to breathe. Um, they're, the slope kills me on this bike, the seating position, it's like you're always being pushed forward into the floor. And that may work for some people, for some people's body types, it doesn't work for me. So um, these bikes, have a horizontal Minarelli, which means your cylinder is going this way, the vertical is going this way. Pretty obvious. If you don't know the difference between horizontal and vertical, you need to go back to school. Um, so that bike has the, probably the most amount of parts, well it does for a fact, have the most amount of parts you can get for the Yamaha Zuma as far as performance goes. Um, they're pretty easy to go quick. We have tons and tons of parts, pipes, cylinders that's that's a pipe for the the zuma we have pipe cylinders everything for them um the couple downfalls on that bike it's pretty hard to go disc brake you have to change a lot of things over um they don't make drop in replacement forks we do sell shim kits to allow like ncy style legs to go in there but then you're changing you gotta change quite a bit over so um as far as aesthetics go there's very little you can do for that bike without doing more custom work as far as wheels and all that stuff it's quite a bit of work um, but the motor's great it's an air cooled and again i forgot to say that 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 those both those zoomas are air cooled the pre-bug is air cooled I'm here to assist you with your Google listing. No, I'm actually in Texas. What we do is um, we actually swap animals. So we find um, roadkill and then we stuff them and then we sell them to collectors. So it's, we're actually skin swap shop. We swap the um, pelts on different animals and then make like kites and RC cars and stuff out of them. No, it's fine. Yeah, kind of we cool. found a raccoon. So, um, we found a raccoon and we actually turned it into a, a remote control airplane. Honestly, that's like, that's great. Yeah, it's awesome. Opinion. I did look up Skin Swap Shop, LLC. So I know you're not Google. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But better luck next time, because you, yeah. you, you failed this right. time. If you want to build a bike, and you're looking at Zumas, um, I would say the bang for your buck is probably going to be the Bug Eye Zuma when it comes to modifying. Um, tons of parts for them and you have the potential of going 100 miles an hour if you want to do a motor like this. That's, an, that's a C1 motor, that's a 70cc. Um, but you can get this whole entire engine kit. We actually just put one together. Um, we just put one together and sold one last week. But that style motor physically bolts into a Yamaha Zuma bug eye. Now you've got to add your liquid cooling portion of it. You've got to add your rear brakes, your rear disc brakes and stuff like that. But that motor will physically bolt into, well that motor's a Piaggio mo design. So this has the mount, this has a motor mount down low where the, so the Piaggio RC1 has a motor mount down here, okay? The Minarelli has it up top so you can get it two different types. Who's this? Oh hey, it's Joel. Hey Joel, say hi. What's Joel's up? Joel's new hire. Tell us about yourself, Joel. I'm from uh, Olympia. Just moved down here though. Lived in Seattle for the last few years. And uh, yeah, excited to do some marketing. He likes long walks on the beach, holding hands, and what else? Wheelies.